Cape St. Mary's Ecological Reserve is a refuge for tens of thousands of nesting seabirds each summer. And at its center is an isolated sea stack surrounded by the rich waters of the North Atlantic, bird rock. The largest species that nest on these cliffs are the northern gannets, among the first to arrive and last to leave. Gannet pairs reunite at the reserve in March, having spent the winter apart foraging as far south as the Gulf of Mexico. And each summer, they return here to breed. Northern gannets are monogamous. It remains a mystery how they find each other among the thousands of nests and tens of thousands of birds that have gathered. But each year, they do. They return to the same nesting spot, renewing a relationship that could be over a decade long. In June, the first chicks hatch. It will take 13 weeks for this fuzzy chick to grow and transform into a sleek juvenile. To feed this growth, each parent takes turns leaving the nest, seeking shoals of fish, sometimes over 100 kilometers away. By September, surrounded by other nests, this chick outweighs its parents. Feathers have replaced its downy fuzz, providing the needed waterproof protection for its life at sea. As chicks begin to outgrow their nests, fights break out amongst neighbors defending their territories. It's a tense time, and the dynamics of the colony shift with the changing season. The chick joins thousands of others as a new instinct takes hold, the urge to flop.
They are strengthening flight muscles that will soon be put to the test, waiting for the right conditions for their first flight, because each chick will get just one chance to fly, one chance to make it to the sea. It's October when this moment arrives. Chicks across Bird Rock begin to move towards the edge of the cliffs, preparing to take flight. Looking to the horizon, the chick flaps its wings in escalating tempo and vigor until, without warning, Chicks that don't master this first flight will likely perish in the surf below. Those that make it past the cliffs still face a challenging future. Only one third will survive their first year at sea as they learn to hunt on their own. These juveniles have begun a journey that may bring them back to Cape St. Mary's and Bird Rock after up to three years at sea. After their young depart, the adults turn their attention to one another. Many will linger at Bird Rock with their mates for a few weeks before leaving on their own migration south. And the reserve will be here for their return. <laughs> 